Hello and welcome to IT Chronicles 10 and Tech. We're in Las Vegas at the ServiceNow Knowledge 18 conference. I'm here with my co-host, Kirsten McGowan. Hi, Carlos. And Andy Smith from Centrify. Welcome. Thank you very much. So, Andy, I understand the you know, security space, great place. You know, I spent uh, quite a bit of time there. You know, obviously, you know, all we hear on the news almost, you know, daily, if not, you know, at least weekly, you know, breaches and all that sort of stuff. Um, all of our private information is out there. Um, one thing that I don't think a lot of people understand is how much work goes in behind the scenes around credentialing and you know, privileged access and, and you know, how these breaches are happening and the work that's going on to prevent it and uh, maybe not so much prevent it because I think us that work in the space, we know. It's yeah. it's a, it's, it's, not a, it's, it's not a it's not a win it's not a, it's <laughs> win. Yeah. So how quickly can we identify? So tell us a little bit about Centrify and uh, some of the stuff that you're providing to your customers to at least minim minimize some of the damage that happens there. Yeah, uh, at, at Centrify we're a broadly identity management company, um, and when we look at at the problem space and, and the market, you, you you very well mentioned like a new major breach, you know. Mm -hmm every week, if every. not every other day or whatever, yeah. right, right, that, that's announced out there. And the industry spent $87 billion last year Ooh. on security, yeah. but yet still happening. It's still it's happening, right? And so uh, we're maybe not spending on the right things. And if you uh, listen to the Verizon uh, breach report, 81% of breaches involved default uh, passwords, you know, yeah. stolen credentials, et cetera. Yeah. And even 81% of those, according to Forrester, were privileged credentials and privileged right. access. Yep. Um, so at Centrify, what we're doing is following the philosophy of zero trust. That's gaining a lot of traction. Right. It's been around for mm -hmm. 10, yep. 15 years, et cetera, out there, but gaining a lot of traction lately because it's it goes to exactly what you said. It's not if, it's when. Mm -hmm. that, that the bad actors are already in your network. Yeah. And so you can't trust the fact that this request is coming mm -hmm. in for access to something, et cetera, that every access request, you need to validate the user, you need to verify the device they're coming yeah. in on, you need to limit access and privilege, and then you need to continuously learn about their behaviors and yeah. stuff like that. So we look at that zero trust approach, that zero trust security approach, and that's what Centrify does. Yeah, and it's interesting, mm -hmm. you uh, you mentioned the behavior part. Because um, again, like I said, I've, I've been in that space, you know, I was in New Zealand with Kirsty a few years back, and we talked about the, I think the time was like eight months that ISACA was reporting that they were in yeah. your environment before there's a detection. My understanding is down to two months roughly now. You know? I just saw a report the other, uh, just a couple weeks ago, it was 99 days on average. Oh, oh, still, still yeah. three so to four months, so that's, four that's good. Months, yeah. That's better well, it's than eight. eight. It's yeah. Still, yeah. still yeah. scary. Yeah, um, but yeah that's what they've done in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's the thing that, again, I don't think uh, people fully understand is, they're making these breaches, mm -hmm. they're patient now. Yes. You know, yes. Whereas that was the scary part, it, it's not smash yeah. and grab anymore. No. And they're coming in and they're hanging out. So I would think the the behavior is one of the things I think is if we start tying in some of that you know, automation or the artificial intelligence type stuff, it's not just me asking for something, it's me specifically asking for something under certain conditions, mm -hmm. on certain targets. That's when we, I think, mm -hmm. start having a real chance so like you know, maybe bring it down yeah. to nine point nine days instead of mm -hmm. ninety nine. Yeah. So mm -hmm. is that some of the stuff that you guys are really you know playing in? Absolutely. You know we talked about the the four aspects of zero trust. That fourth aspect is learn and adapt, and that is yeah. really all using machine learning to look at that user behavior mm -hmm. and then making that access, uh, you know, allowing that access yep. request or denying that access mm -hmm. request or asking for multi-factor authentication right. just to be sure, yes. right? right? Those are all aspects that's mm -hmm. built in and it's all b based on that user behavior. What, what location, what device, what network, what time of day, all those aspects mm -hmm. uh, when the access request, what, what resource are they asking for access yes. to? That's not normal. Right. Um, uh, you know, we look at somebody on the privilege side, for example, uh, a, a DBA, have certain behaviors that they yeah. do, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then all of a sudden they start s setting different web server configurations. Mm -hmm. That's not normal That's for a not DBA. Right, yeah. right, right. So boom, that would be flagged, yes. right? Yeah. And then, you know, come to the attention of security or mm -hmm. somebody in identity and then you can do something about it. Right, right. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, that's, like I said, that's the area that I really just find amazing. It's because it's so fast mm -hmm. now. We don't have that luxury of like, you know, I think you mentioned it before where all the old IDs, most companies, sadly, still don't go and clean up. Yep. You know, no. I mean, we do a horrible job yep. onboarding people, and we do worse yeah. offboarding. Off. <laughs> yeah. you know? no, and that's what sure. they're yeah. that's what's taking advantage of, right? I mean, they're coming in as low level and elevating mm -hmm. their credentials, and then you get to your mm -hmm. you know, pool of credentials that are all like, "Hey, these are privileged. That's great." You yeah, know? I got it. Yeah. Uh, um, so again, so you know, what what is the you know 
what's the work revolved around that? You know, and how do you how do you demonstrate that for your customers? Yeah, it's really one of the things that comes to value of the integration between a company like Centrify and a company like ServiceNow yeah. here at the conference is about those work those onboarding workflows, right? You onboard, they make sure that that person's in a specific role, based on that role, they get certain yep. access rights, et cetera. And automating all that uh, that kicks off based on yes. the workflow, that can really uh, onboard a, a person much mm -hmm. faster. But then you mentioned the offboarding, that's equally as important, right? So when they are let go or seasonal worker, whatever it is, right? They're no longer have that role. All that automation stuff, can, if it's manual, yeah. that's where they get left, right? So if, it, if yeah. it's automated, that person, they're gone out of the HR system yeah. and immediately all those flows kick off to get them, remove their access from all these other systems. Yeah. Uh, you know, counting on an email from Fred to Sally, so Sally knows to go pull, put that person up, that's where it falls down. Yeah, that, and so you, you mean you want to get rid of those privileged users floating around in the, in the system that people can take advantage of. Absolutely, yeah. those accounts are just hanging yeah. out there. Yep. You need to make sure they're associated with yes. really users. One of the big things that we do is that these privileged accounts are many times, they can be shared accounts. Yes. And so we try to say, you know what, Eliminate these shared mm. accounts as much as possible. Yes. Use your own individual yep. uh, identity yep. so you can really yep. tie the behaviors that was going yes. on to that person and then elevate privilege when you need it, right? Yep. And, and so as much as possible, we try to consolidate and so you have fewer and fewer of those kinds of shared accounts because they're a little bit more hard to, yep. to manage. Yeah, so does Centrify play in the, the whole biometric, you know, side of things in the security? We, we leverage biometrics. Yep. I would say we strongly, strongly play yep. in the multi-factor yes. authentication. Yep. Uh, and so biometrics yep. is part of that, yes. right? Whether uh, you know that's going to be your touch ID mm -hmm. on your phone, yep. uh, a, a biometric in the government mm -hmm. space, et cetera. Yep. Um, um, and so as those continue to emerge, we leverage those. Right. But we're very much a multi-factor authentication right. proponent, yep. mm -hmm. right? It's yes. all part of zero trust. Yep. Part, of, part of verify that yep. user and know who mm -hmm. they are is you know, challenge them yep. with multi-factor authentication when it makes sense. So that's right. the beauty of the yep. machine learning mm -hmm. in that aspect yes. now is that if it's a normal, if that yep. access request is, uh, you know, I, I log in every day yep. from the office mm -hmm. with my PC to yep. these applications, go ahead. No, I don't need to ask for a multi-factor, but yep. if I happen to be traveling to Vegas like yep. I am now, that's a little weird, challenge for multi-factor authentication, and then yep. I'm sure yeah, that's that's, handy. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly mm -hmm. what happened to me this morning. I went to log on to my bank and says, oh, you're not in New Zealand, so I need to know a few more things about you to exactly. make sure you're the right person. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's what's kind of funny, it's like, again, having been in this space, you know, years ago, credit card companies have done this mm -hmm. forever, right? Mm. If you suddenly start charging, you know, I did a, a tour of Europe you know, years ago, and we were in one country, three days yeah. later we're in another country, yeah. you know, and they're like, wait, hold it, that is not normal mm -hmm. behavior. It, it's almost like, hey, we finally woke up and said, hey, that's probably a good model. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why, why don't we do something like that? Yeah. Well, there's a physical card, it's mm -hmm. not just a not, you know, yeah. card not present. I mean, it's the same exact concepts that we finally, I guess, woke up to. to the interesting to, thing, those were the, those kind of fraud detection things yeah. were yeah. usually custom built engines yeah. that these banks yes. put together and yeah. spent a lot of money a lot putting of money. those together. Now, what it's really only been the last five years where where big data yeah. and and some of this real time machine learning mm. capabilities, the technology is now available yeah. where can you can implement that? this more on a generic kind of horizontal yeah. basis. Yeah. And so that's why you're starting to see it pop up now. It's just because doing that in real time mm. has to be super super fast, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it certainly does because so you, yeah, you've got to stop things in their tracks. Yeah, rather it's than not an the, after the yeah. fact yeah. thing, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. which is still which, which helpful, is, which is still great. Yeah. Exactly. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> but if I could stop it at the time yeah. of yeah. that, uh, you know, yeah. in real time yeah. at that time, that's yeah, before the damage better. occurs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Andy, thanks so much for your time. There's a a lot going on in the world of security. Yes. And we need companies like Centrify, obviously, to. Yeah, to especially from a everybody. personal perspective. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> we'll help protect your identity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank well, you very thanks much, Thanks a lot for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.